Well, I was talking to some of the digital team, and you'd have no idea that today is a January 11th, 73 degrees right now, but a lot of this cold weather definitely on its way, but very slow, and with it, we're going to watch some of those winds really pick up out of the west tonight at about 40 miles per hour, prompting a lot of those wind advisories. Right now, we're looking at the temperature change over the last 24 hours, 66 degrees yesterday, then we dealt with a lot of that moisture overnight, getting down near that sub-freezing mark, jumping all the way up a good 40 degrees up into those mid-70s, and then we're already beginning that cool off. Once that sun goes down, we're going to see those winds really pick up out of the west again. Good time to tie down everything, take those necessary precautions, because a lot of this cold weather definitely on its way as well. 72 here in San Angelo. Everybody else joining us in a combination of those 70s and we're looking across the entire Contro Valley, seeing some warmer spots, too, across their junction, 76. Again, 69 in Sterling City. That's a good 10 degrees spread across the entire region, but those colder winds that are going to make their way in, definitely going to cool things off very quickly as we get down towards some of those colder temperatures. That'll be the first indication of that cold plunge, and it's going to lock us in at least those 60s before the bigger drop makes its way here by Sunday. Right now, everywhere else is completely dried out, and we can see those humidity indices come up a little bit. But we're going to be holding on to a lot of those colder dew points. Again, Eden, Big Lake, down there in those single digits, those dew points, we're headed that direction still. And we're updating this model data all the time as we're going to look at those temperatures across the entire nation. Two degrees in Montana. Okay, and it's going to continue to get colder from their overnight lows looking in the negative. Now, this cold air is going to sink its way down into the Concho Valley, and then it's going to move off to the east. Again, you heard it. Everybody dealing with their own problems from the first round, the second round on its way, and the third round is definitely already making its way in off the west coast. This is the moisture that's really going to impact everybody across the entire nation as far as the east coast is concerned. We're really talking about seeing some tornadoes with this, too, about EF2, if not stronger. You look off the west coast, this is what we've been looking for, this finger of moisture. That's where we're going to see a lot of the snow pushing over the Rocky Mountains. We're keeping our eye on this upper level pattern. That's about 100 miles per hour in excess making its way off the east coast. This is where we're watching this ridging off the west coast, pushing those winds more towards Canada, and it's going to pull that cold air down from it. Look how strong and northerly it keeps us. Now, we're going to stay that way for about three days before we start to see some of this ridging push in from the west. That's going to push us back up into those 60s. Now, severe weather outlook really targeting parts of east Texas and parts of New Mexico. This is where we're going to see a lot of that severe weather develop. Now, the setup is already on its way. Look at how much it's pummeling across New Mexico. Again, Nebraska and those crosshairs seeing tons of snow, about six inches there in Reno. Nevada and we're already seeing more on the way off the west coast now we're gonna see a lot of flooding as a result but look right there Thursday night this is where we're gonna see that small finger it's just gonna miss us by a little bit and that's where those colder temperatures are gonna come from but the winds behind it this is what we're talking about prompting those wind advisories by about early morning hour we're gonna see those winds really pick up out of the northwest that's that cold plunge then it's gonna start to finally calm down as we make our way towards Saturday Sunday morning but those calm winds are really gonna usher in a lot more of those colder temperatures as we can see that cold plunge really getting here again down into those sub conditions so tonight dropping down into those 30 seeing those breezy conditions really pick up and breezy is Statement. It's going to be pretty windy tonight, so again, fastening down anything. Then tomorrow, colder day as we hold on to those lower 50s, if not those lower 60s, and that's where we're going to stay for a couple days. Then here it comes, another good 30-degree plunge down into those lower 30s. Those overnight lows are down into those teens, 19, 14, and by Martin Luther King Day, we're down there at 8 degrees. And then by Wednesday next week, we start to see us warm back up where we see our temperatures return to those 50s. Those lows are down near those freezing points, and then we're up into the 60s. Stay tuned for more for the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.